There comes a time in a man's life where he struggles and tries so hard, so hard to do something, and it just falls apart in his hands, and uh, it doesn't pan out. And that's how I'm feeling currently, after approximately 35 takes of playing the same exact guitar solo over and over again, just to record a video for YouTube. Uh, and then promptly forgetting to save the audio file that went with that. And, uh, and, uh, closing out the program. So all I was left with was a bunch of 1080p, 60 frames per second clips of me strumming my guitar because I play through simulated sounds on my computer. And... Uh, yeah, I'm a little angry. I've been doing that all day, and uh, I'm not gonna let that defeat me. I have been doing that all day. I have spent... Well, not all day, that's a lie. It's, it's not really... Okay. It's not all day, but... My... My mind... It's shattered. My brain... I can't, I can't take it anymore. I'm not gonna do that anymore. My fingers are raw. I have devoted so much time out of this one day in particular to playing that guitar solo and trying to get that video on YouTube to the point where I even... To the point where I even, uh... I recorded a video of my failures just to show like, how hard the thing, what I was doing was, just to show, just to show what I was doing, and, uh, how I was failing, and so on and so forth, and it just didn't happen, it just didn't work, and, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, accidentally deleted the audio to that, too, so anyway, we're playing Amnesia again, I'm sorry, I had to go on a rant there, I'm, uh, I'm livid, uh, I might not seem like it, but it's the truth, I am, I'm extremely angry, and, uh, unfortunately, there's, uh, nothing more to be said about it. I have created a recipe for an interesting explosive, one my texts refer to as fulminating gold. By soaking a chunk of crystallized pota potash, or potash in a solution of gold hydroxide, the resulting crystal becomes highly reactive. If struck, it explodes with great force. Yet another in my long line of recent accomplishments. Why did I come in here? What was even the point? There's nothing more for me to have. There's nothing more for me to do. Why am I here? Aqua Regia. Combination does not work. Why? I don't understand. What? What is going on here? What do I have? What could I... What was the point? Why am I here? What was Jane looking for down here? Fulminating gold. Soaking a chunk... In a solution of gold hydroxide. Well, how do I make gold hydroxide? Do I slap that? Is that thing uh, right over there? Is that something that it wants me to, to slap? Is that full of stuff? Nope, that's just nothing. Okay. Well, one of these chunks I have to soak with something. I'm not sure what. And it's very, very quiet in here. It's almost too quiet. Very, very quiet. I think we're just coming back around to the same room I started in. Oh, no. Not quite. Almost, but not quite. So, I don't, I don't get what the point was. I, was there, like, something in there? Was I, I... I don't know what to do. I don't have a crowbar. I don't have any way to pull those things, those boards off the door. So, I'm just kind of wandering around in the dark. You're going to have to give me a minute to figure this out. Because I don't have anything. I have nothing. I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss. So, uh, you would not believe what I found out going through, um... Because I had to do it. I had to look at a walkthrough. I'm too stupid. I was using my... I was thinking too hard on what to do. And, uh... The answer to that may surprise you. Uh, actually, uh... It's pretty stupid, honestly. It's, uh... It's really stupid. It's my fault. It's my bad. Maybe I should have thought of this beforehand. Maybe I should have put more effort into figuring this out. But... 
Yeah, I'm pretty stupid, so here's the solution if you uh, if you want to get real jiggy with it real quick. The solution is this. Uh, so basically, and I didn't look any further than this, but basically, I already mixed something into that pot, and I never used it. And for some reason, you get a bag of gold coins. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Okay, here's what you gotta do. Boom, there you go. Now you have your gold hydroxide, your, your, your auric hydroxide. I don't know why that took me so long. I don't know why that was such a, such a deal for me and such an effort. But there it is. That is, uh, that is all you can do. Now you have yourself an explosive. And it severely limits your vision, apparently. That's terrible. I, I don't know what to do about that. Oh, right. Um, and you also have to hit it now, because that's the way it works. That is, uh, that is how explosives work. You, you throw things at them from a distance, and you just run, duck for cover, and... And that's how that is. I really had a feeling something was behind that door, but could be wrong. Maybe there was nothing. But I don't want to take any chances. I'm, I, I kind of have to use the bathroom. What happened to her? Don't be asking me any questions now. I'm not a fan of questions. What happened to her? Who is her? Where is her? Oh, Jane, that's right. You would not believe how long it took me to find that solution. What was that? It's almost finished. I just need okay. Time. What happened? Please get up. Yeah, see, I'm not a fan of that. I think we're okay. What did I pick up? I picked up a piece of an orb, somehow fused itself into my abdomen. I don't think removing it by force is a good idea. That's just part of my inventory now, that's okay. No problem, no problem. There's something out there. Maybe. I'm gonna toss that box. We're gonna see what happens. Because they would not play this kind of music if there was nothing out there. I am not a fan of surprises. This game seems to have plenty of them for me. Okay, so if I want to get out of this room and go straight toward an exit... But what was the point of getting... Pretty weird that I can close the door from here. That is actually very strange. That is a long arm I have. Good God Almighty. Somehow I don't think that was a good way to go. I don't know what lies beyond. Did I see something back there? Okay, everything is going pretty wonky for me right now. And uh, that I cannot appreciate. Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. Please. I'm keeping my avenues open. I'm not... out to let myself get caught with my pants down. Man, I am taking taking a beating though. Good God almighty. started this adventure, I was very angry. Now, 
I'm just very concerned. Very, very concerned. Oh my goodness. That was a lot more tense than I thought it would be. Back at a crawl again. Oof. That gave me the shivers. I started this off really, really angry, and now I'm... Now I'm inevitably, once again, sucked back into the soul of amnesia. Where things go wrong and nothing seems to go right. What is with this darkness? Okay. Well, things are going a little crazy now, but... It's all fine. Oh, the shadow's chasing us. Okay, I get it now. No, 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 please don't. Uh... Okay, the shadow, I can handle that. That I can handle. Oh, no, please. I've got a lot of friends. I've got a lot of very important friends. You don't want to mess with me. Oh, look, he's right there. No, oh, come on, man, son of a... God, oh, come on. Yeah, I know to run for my life, but the freaking box got stuck on nothing. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a pallet jack, you know? Those things, they can hold so much, and then, you know, they roll over like a zip tie or a piece of paper and they just break. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of stuff that makes me angry. Okay, I'm gonna get a real big head start on this fast as I can. I know which direction to go now. Daniel, or whoever you are, don't give up on me. Don't you even dare stop for one second. Okay, we're gonna jump this way. I'm gonna go out here. Quickly, move all this crap out of my way. Please move! Don't make me wait again. Don't kill me. Alright, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing very good, very good. Everything's going just fine. Ooh, he's in a mad sprint to come after me, but I'm too fast for you, boy. Oh, much too fast. Or am I? I don't know. Seems like he's really making efforts to get up to me, and uh, I don't know how I feel about... That. Wow. Actually pretty cool. No, he can do that. But where did he go? <laughs> Alright, forget about that. Okay. That was uh, a lot more intense the first time around. Second time around, eh, I had that. Had that in the bag. Still a little angry. Knowledge was something that had to be spread to everyone. Hartlib hoped one day to gain full comprehension of the divine order of things, an idea of Comenius that he followed vi avidly. Moria suggested that it could be a, taken a step further. Don't know where that was going, but it's okay. I have a piece of an orb now. Wherever that takes us. I have a feeling a monster's about to show up. I don't rightly know why. I don't know where to go either. Are you here to help me? I can't, I can't get up there. I, okay, uh, I have box, I can stack boxes, that's right. Don't let anything spawn on me, please don't. I have had enough, oh, sorry, there goes my steam again. Well, that's unfortunate, but what can you do? I'm a little bit distracted at the moment, I don't really have the leisure of being able to turn that off at the moment. Especially because, uh, I don't really feel like it. I'm just gonna let them chat themselves out. They're gonna chat it up. They're gonna get chatty, real chatty. They're gonna get chatty. It's gonna get Chad-like. Very Chad-like operation we're running here. There we go. Right toward that 2D sunlight. Once we were out of the tunnels, there was no sign of the shadow. The stranger offered me safe haven in London. He said he knew what was going on. I knew nothing about him, but he saved my life. Reluctantly, I took him up on his offer. Charles Longden. Oh, um... 
Charles Longden, isn't that the, uh, that was one of the characters in the main Amnesia, wasn't it? I think that was, I think that was him. I could be wrong, I don't know, but I'm pretty positive that was uh, one of the characters that Daniel had talked to. So if, if that's true, if I'm right in that assumption, then this character is fated to die no matter what. So the story may be coming to a close sooner than we think. Oh, I'll come find you in your private study, but something tells me you're not going to be alive when I get there. And that's just the unfortunate happening of these things. Okay, that was a clock. Man, I'm jumpy at everything right now. I don't really appreciate what's being thrown in front of me. And the episode has to come to a close very soon because uh, I'm a little bit wanting to get some food. Very hungry, I am. Talking. That's the best that I am at. The best, I do that the best. I talk, I'm the best at talking. It took me a few tries. <laughs> All right. What remains? Where is your study, good sir? This is not your study. This reminds me of, a, of another game. This layout of this mansion reminds me of a, a different game. One that I might play on the channel, it's like, it's nostalgic, because I think I remember it from like a long time ago. But... Uh, not quite the name. Whatever. Anyway, it's another horror game, and it'll get played on this channel. Maybe. Eventually. I don't know. Who knows what the future holds. Alright, before I end the episode, I'm gonna see, is this the study? Yeah. Before I end the episode, I'm gonna go check out what that note has to say, and then we'll cut it there. How about that? We can get one more piece of dialogue in before anything else. While strong acids can be very useful, crystallization. While strong acids can be very useful, they are easily weakened over time by the materials they consume. I've developed a fairly strong reactant for crystallizing metals from acids. It takes a very it takes Sorry. It takes very little of the agent to bond to nobler metals such as gold, but a high concentration can still extract lesser metals such as copper. Temperature control is everything when applying the reactant. While the acid itself must be boiling, the reactant itself cannot contact the heat of a direct flame, or it will expand explosively. By removing the heat and mixing the chemical while the acid is still boiling, an ideal solution is reached. If done properly, the metal will crystallize and can then be removed by filtration or evaporation. Interesting process, but I don't know how useful that's going to be to me, you know, in the future. You seem like a very scientific fellow there, uh, Samuel. And uh, in the next episode, I'm going to meet you, hopefully. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you sticking with me through this. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment down below to tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Share the videos to spread the good word. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, friends.